So in this session, we'll see about data processor transformation. So basically, this transformation is used to process unstructured and semi-structured file formats in a mapping. We can configure the transformation to process uh, HTML pages, XML, or uh, JSON and PDF documents. So you can for example, we have customer invoices in Microsoft Word files. We can configure a data processor transformation to parse the data from each Word file and extract the customer data to customer table and order information to orders table. So in this particular session, we'll see how to extract data from a PDF document and create an XML. So uh, we have employee data. Uh, I'll show you here. Yeah. I have employee data here in a PDF file name, last name, department, and start date. So we need to create an XST XML schema definition document based on our output, whatever output we are expecting. So I need a first name, last name, department, and start date in my XML uh, target. So I have created, you can see, uh, find this uh, XST document in my blog in a to z informatica.blogspot.com. So, so first we need to create the schema definition. So let's start, uh, go to your project, go to schema, browse, browse. So this is our XST document okay give a name employee schema next finish so if you check the schema you can go see our first name last name department name start date is there Okay, so now this is done. Next step is to create a data processor transformation. So go to transformation, select data processor. So ours is an employee data processor and finish. Okay, so first go to objects and uh, select script here. And you can give employee my script and then ours is going to be a parser so parser converts source documents to XML the output of parser is always an XML input can be any of the formats such as text HTML word PDF or HL7 next is serializer it converts XML file to an output document of any format uh, exactly the reverse of parser so the output of a serializer can be of any format uh, such as text document HTML or a PDF and others um, in others uh, there will be mapper which converts XML source document to another XML structure or schema you can convert the same XML documents as in an XMAP transformer which modifies the data in any format so you can use transformers with a parser mapper or serializer you can run transformer as standalone component as well and the final is the streamer which splits large input documents such as multi gigabyte data streams into segments so it processes documents that have multiple messages or records in them such as HIPAA or EDI files so today we are basically going to use a parser uh, to convert the PDF to XML so it is my employee my parser and uh, uh, check this set as startup component okay next now here you need to uh, select the reference or schema employee schema select this okay and uh, next so here uh, we need an example source so we have already our uh, source file so select the source file employee pdf dot pdf okay and then finish 
so now uh, what we are going to do is go to data viewer you see that it is in binary format so in order to change that go to example source go to preprocessor and select PDF to text for so now you can see our data in our PDF file so next thing we need to do is parser uh, works on the concept of anchors anchors are the component that are used to tell parser where to find specific location in the document so uh, the first thing is the marker I'll show you I select the first name so insert marker what marker does is marker anchor labels for the location in the document and the content content anchor retrieves uh, specified text from the document and uh, we'll use the about to anchors to pass data from our base for basic parcel so double click on the data holder property and uh, select uh, first name as our data holder so similarly we need to do it for all insert marker this last name okay then is the department content and uh, our data holder is department and finally our start date and the data holder is start date okay so now this is done so the next step is um, go to uh, we'll run this to check if we are getting the XML run data viewer so now if you'll see this is our output see first name our data in the PDF document has been used to create an XML file so go to overview and select the input our input is going to be a file and then save okay so now I have a input and an output so input is a file uh, which has the path f name of my PDF document and I have created a target in the target folder as you see so this is my target so let's add our uh, data processor transformation here so connect the input and the output ports okay and validate the mapping and run the mapping so now let's check our target yeah so we have created an XML file so for more uh, go to a to z informatica dot blogspot dot com